Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're checking out the Amazon Tap today and I picked this up from Amazon.com the other day for $129 and what this is is a portable Bluetooth speaker uh, and it's got the Alexa capability built in. However, uh, unlike the Amazon Echo that we looked at a couple of, probably about a year ago now, uh, that you would plug into a wall and it would just kind of sit in a room and listen for you to call for it, uh, this one is not listening unless you push the microphone button to get the Alexa services. So I can push the button here. What's the weather like tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Killingworth. And I can get the forecast that way. So it uh, does a lot of other things, which we'll look at in a few minutes. We're going to look at everything it can do because it's doing a lot more than it did a year ago. But I'll show you some cool stuff uh, in a minute. Now, in full disclosure, I did purchase this from Amazon with my own funds. They are not paying for this review. Uh, no one is looking at this video before it is posted. So I have complete editorial control. And all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. All right, let's take a look at the hardware first. It is wrapped in fabric. And we'll have to see how pristine this looks in six months or so. Maybe we'll do a, a follow-up. Up on it. Uh, there is a $20 protective sleeve that you can get. There's always an accessory to buy. They've got these in a few different colors. And what this will do is give you a little bit of protection uh, on the road as well as a hook to hang it up on stuff with. So once you get it attached here, uh, you've got the hook here to attach it to things. And uh, the rubber on it will keep the fabric from touching the surface of things. So you could maybe drop it and not get too much damage on it uh, because you've got this wrapped around there. It also covers up the charging base at the bottom. And there is a charging base because they have a battery built in on this that will last for probably about eight or nine hours of playback. And what's cool is they give you a, a little charging stand here in the box. And no matter which way you put this down, uh, it will charge. So you just kind of plop it down at the end of the day and you can put it back on its home base and charge it up. It will also still operate while it is charging. So you can replicate to some degree uh, some of the Amazon Echo capability. However, you have to push the button on the tap in order to get it to work. It's probably why they call it the tap. Uh, so pretty nice there. The sound quality is really nice on this. It's got 360 degrees of sound on it. So no matter which way it is facing, you will hear it. Uh, very clear and crisp. It reminds me a lot of the Echo, a little bit less bass than the Echo had because it is a smaller package. So the audio quality out of the Echo is a little bit better, especially for music. Uh, but the tap sounds really nice for spoken word in particular. So the Alexa voice sounds very crisp and clear. Maybe I can ask it a question here. How much battery do you have left? The battery is fully charged. So very crisp and clear, uh, very easy to hear from across the room. It's very loud, actually, when you want it to be. So I think for uh, using it as like a little boom box somewhere, uh, it's really nice. Now, there's a bunch of ways to get audio into this. Of course, what Amazon would love for you to do is attach it to your Wi-Fi and use their music services. So Amazon Music, whether you are a Prime customer or have purchased music, all of that is accessible to you automatically just by asking for it. Uh, there's also Audible Books, because that's another Amazon company. But uh, there are a number of other services now that are linking up to this along with a number of podcasts also. So TuneIn Radio, Spotify, a bunch of other non-Amazon services are also on here too, and I'm sure more will be added uh, as time goes on. There's certainly a lot more on the Alexa platform now than there was uh, a year ago when we first looked at it. It's also a Bluetooth speaker though, so if you have a service like uh, you know something from your iPhone or something that is not uh, currently working with this natively, you can connect your phone or other device via Bluetooth and play back music that way. Uh, you also have the option to plug in an analog adapter here and just plug in a you know a cassette player if you wanted to, or even your 8-track and uh, play that through here too. So you can plug in external devices uh, and get audio going that way. You can also charge it here, so you don't have to always use the base. If you're out on the road, uh, you can just plug in a USB cable in the back to this thing uh, and get up and running that way. And there's some really nice controls here on the top for uh, pausing, playing, and moving back and forth through different things. Now, like all smart devices, they do have an app that accompanies it. There's a version for Android, for iPhone, as well as Amazon's own devices, and they have a web-based version of it also that you can access from just about any computer. And this is what it looks like here. It's keeping a log of everything that I've asked it over the last couple of hours, so a bunch of weather reports here, uh, as well as uh, some other stuff too. Like I asked it to play an audiobook earlier and uh, also checked in on the newscast. And you can do a lot of things with this, and in some ways it actually functions more efficiently and more reliably than Siri does on my iPhone. So for example, I could ask it to do this. Remind me to call my mother tomorrow. I put call my mother tomorrow on your to-do list. And what's amazing is just how fast this comes back and shows up on the app. So you've got uh, some to-do management on here. You can set appointments. You can connect your calendar to it. And there's also connectivity to smart home devices as well. So I put a lamp back there and I connected a Belkin Wemo to it. And I can do this. Turn on the desk lamp. Okay. And it's so quick. It really works really nicely. Turn off the desk lamp. 
Okay. And the connectivity is really simple because you go into the app, uh, you just go and uh, have it detect things on your network. So it found my Wemo switch on my network. I was able to set it up as a group and I could just get everything uh, hooked up and running there. There's other support for other devices as well. What was interesting is that the Wemo was not on the list of device links, uh, but it just showed up when I did a, a search across my network for it. So if you have some of these devices, you might want to check because I'm finding a lot of things that won't work with Apple's HomeKit uh, are working with this. You also have connectivity with if this, then that. And you can do a lot of crazy stuff uh, just using uh, voice requests with this thing. And uh, because it is portable and it has a battery on it, you can kind of carry it around your house a little bit easier than you might uh, with the Amazon Echo. So that is the Amazon Tap. And I have to say, I was not expecting much from this thing. In fact, I pre-ordered it a couple of weeks ago and totally forgot I did uh, until it showed up this morning. And I have to say, I've been having a blast playing with it all day today, uh, not only because it's a great Bluetooth speaker, uh, but also because the Alexa service has improved tremendously since I last looked at it probably about a year and a half ago now. So uh, really great, very responsive, very accurate. Hasn't really given me any hiccups at all either. It's been doing exactly what I've wanted it to do uh, very, very quickly. And I love the connectivity, especially with the Amazon uh, universe, because I am an Amazon Prime subscriber as well as an Audible subscriber. And just being, being able to just uh, ask it to read me one of my books and have it pick up right where I left off on it, uh, it was just really cool. And then to have that uh, book market place when I paused it and then synced back to my other devices. I just think it's just really nice just how seamless this thing integrates. And it's also good though to see Amazon bringing in other providers too. So we've got Spotify on here. I'm sure other services will be coming into play uh, very shortly on it also. And if you've been looking for a device to play around with this Amazon Alexa service and were reluctant to get the Echo because you may not like that always listening thing, now you've got an option where uh, you can push the button and then have it listen as opposed to uh, having the microphone always on. So you've got a little bit more privacy with this if that was a concern, and you'll pick up a very nice portable Bluetooth speaker as a result. So uh, do let me know, though, down in the comments if there's some other Alexa stuff I should demo on the channel because I, there is so much in there. Uh, we, we probably could do like an hour of this, and I don't want to uh, do it tonight, but I would love to hear some of the things that you're doing with Alexa that I can maybe play with here and maybe feature in a future video. So let me know. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.